Hi, I'm Donna from Frog Mahal, and today I wanted to show you a really neat technique that I saw a long, long time ago in a scrapbook magazine. It's probably been at least 10, 15 years ago. I'm sure it's been 20 years ago. But I've never seen anyone do it on YouTube, and I did ask a lady on YouTube to demonstrate it for us because she does things so well, but she hasn't done it yet. And I'm just guessing that she probably didn't have an oil burning lamp or something. So, I'm going to try my best. I've done one video, but it wasn't to demonstrate anything. So I'm going to try my best, um, just because I think this is so good that it needs to be shared. So, we need an oil burning lamp. I've already started mine, started mine up. Need a piece of shiny cardstock. Cut it a little larger than you want your project to be because you're going to have to trim the edges after we finish. And then a stamp of your choice. I like this little lady. She's a Victorian lady. I've had her forever. She's from Stamps Happening Inc. I've had her forever so we're going to use her today. And a can of Preserve It. And I've had this, I bought it from Hobby Lobby a long time ago um, for $5.99 and I'm sure you can't get it for that now. but. Anyway, okay, we're going to start this up so you can get a lot of soot going and you collect the soot on your card. You may want to have a bowl of water handy just in case there's an accident. You don't want to have to run for water and be in a very well ventilated room so you don't smoke yourself to death. But you can see really fast, and it does your thumb too, but really fast it has a really marbleized effect. Um, to collect the suet for you. And I guess I'm getting it warmed up because earlier it was a little harder to get the suet. But you can see it adds up pretty, pretty fast. And in the end result, it just looks like a really old timey picture. It's really pretty. Um, you can get it as dark or as light as you want. I like it a little darker because you can see the picture a little bit better. But we just kind of, you just keep collecting a little bit more and a little bit more till you get the result that you are looking for. And we'll do it this way. <clears throat> you can't really control a lamp. Once in a while we have a uh, outage, so we have to light up our little lamps and walk around with them. So I don't know what I'm going to do because it's out in my craft room right now. But I'm just going to leave it like that for you. I think that's good. We'll turn the fire down, move it away from us. Going to move the camera down so you can see the project on the table where I'm working. I hope that worked. And you can see why you have to trim it because your fingers get in the way. You take your stamp, just dry old stamp, and you just stamp it on the cardstock. Make sure you push it down. And when you lift it off, it takes the soot off of um, the card and just leaves the imprint on there. Isn't that neat? I really like that. It looks like an old timey picture. And then the only thing you have left to do is you just spray on your sealant and I think I'm going to need a new can of sealant because it's speckling my paper um, but you do need to get um, a good layer on there and let it dry really thoroughly before you handle it because it will smudge. You might want a couple of layers on it and then as you can see you can just trim around the edges and it does look like an old timey photograph and I just had to share that with you. I thought this was so cool and I hope to see someone else using this because um, I think it's neat. I'll see somebody else using it on YouTube and I'll be glad to watch what, how they come up with a different project for it. And thank you for watching.